Hi there, this is Nick Bill, and I'm just going to run quickly through a thing called Dynamic Blocks in AutoCAD for a window, and it, yes, it has been done a thousand times, but sometimes there's just little wrinkles that you miss and you can't find in any video, and hopefully this video will help you if you're stuck, because certainly I've had heaps of fun with this. So what we're going to create is something a little bit like this one, with maybe not quite so many length options. So you can have length, you can choose 1.3 and pre type regen at the command prompt and it changes to 1.3 there. You can also have visibility states, so you can have plain brick, in other words you've got the little bits sticking out there and you can flip it this way and that way. I've actually got two of these blocks, one's horizontal and one's vertical each side of the house. So we'll say there's our drawing that we're just going to start. I've just called it test 3 and it's just a bunch of lines representing our window. So the first thing we've got to do is make that into a block. So whoops. So you just go B for block and this comes up. So we'll call this um, test. Okay. And our base point, I'm going to pick a base point, hold down shift, right click, mid between that point there and that point there. And the select the objects. So that's quite important um, and convert into a block. Because what it means is that, oh and it happens up in our block editor, is that our naught comma naught is just 10 mils in from that edge there because that's the, the timber framing that comes along. This is for New Zealand, it's an aluminium window, that's a piece of glass. So it's quite a detailed sort of window. Okay, so our first thing that we have to do is chuck in a parameter and that just means whack in linear from there to there. So there's our parameter, and you can see it's got a little yellow sign saying, eh, it's not going to do much for you yet. So you go to Actions, and we can choose Stretch, and you choose your parameter you're going to stretch. Oh, hang on, Cancel. Before we do that, we've got to make sure that this guy here, if we go into Properties, Number of Grips 2 is fine. But down here, base location, we really want that to be midpoint. That's quite important because it just doesn't make life easy. So the idea is you put your window in at the midpoint and you stretch for either side of that. Okay, so we put our stretch now and pick our thing that we're going to stretch and see how it's wanting to tell us that that's where it's going to do do its thing and it's down in the command line which you can't see sorry it says start so I'm just going to hit enter on start and then it says uh, first corner of the stretch frame so well you just pick a point there pick a point there and then it says oh okay select your objects now this is a really weird funny thing to to use and after a while it takes a bit of getting used to start in the top right hand corner and just make a little loop around everything see when everything turns blue it's all happy so you hit enter on that so you've done that in you see this little guy pops up says oh that's your stretch and you hit click on there and there's a little click on that and you can see that that comes up so that's just telling you that's the stretchy bit for that one so we do another one for this one here. Pick your object that you're going to stretch and little window and then a little going down, long, long and hit enter because that's all your stretchings. So we, we can test our little test block now by, by pressing test block up in the top left hand corner. Press test block check it out. Hello, what's happened here? It's missing a little duper on the end. But if we pull that, what happens? Just the whole thing goes along. It doesn't look right, does it? This is the sort of thing that happens when you're doing these things. For some reason, 
that's not doing it right. So the horrible part is that you have to try and figure that out. Well, as you can see, he's got a little exclamation mark on there. That's probably a clue that things are not doing too right. Look, let's have a look at that one. That's looking okay. So why is that? That's really strange. So what you can do is you can just delete that one. Delete that one. Try again. We'll do a stretch. Pick our object. That's on the little thing where we want. Pick that one there. And then pick all your objects that you want to stretch. Then we do another one. Stretch. Pick your pick your object. Got the little thing there, so that's the start. That's fine. And pick all your stuff on there. It's looking good. Okay. So we'll test that. If it doesn't work, I think I'll just give up and go home. Oh, look at that. It does work. So obviously I didn't have my stretchies linking on to the right things there. Okay, we're six minutes into a 15 minute demonstration. Let's hope we can finish it. So, closing our test block up there. Now we want to add a lookup parameter. So, here's our lookup parameter. There it is there. Okay, so we just bang it in there. Now it see it's yellow, so it's saying, well, oh, haven't got anything to look up. So we go to our actions, get ourselves a lookup table. So it says, well, what are you going to look up? Oh, well, uh, I suppose we'll look up that one. No, that one there. And then, oh, well, this, this property lookup table comes in. Oh, what are we going to do with that? Good grief. Oh, well, maybe we'll add some properties. Oh, well, hang on. It says, oh, add property distance 1. Oh, that's the distance. Oh, okay, that's fine. And we're going to add input properties. Well, okay. So if we put, type in here 600, I'll only do a few, and hit enter, and 700, hit enter, and then another one, 800. And then what we, go, what we wanted to look up for that is 0.6, because we don't want 600. Because windows are always in meters for some strange reason, which is very, very strange. 0 0.8, 0 0.8. So I just do those three. You can do heaps more if you wanted to. See, now, there's something down here that's not quite right. See where it says custom? The minute you click on custom, it says, oh, RL reverse lookup. So you have to hit that custom. Otherwise, things don't work, probably. So, where are we? We're so far so good, but that's not going to do what we want it to do. We have to define an attribute to link into that lookup, which is looking at that distance 1 there. So, A-T-T-D-E-F, and we'll call that, we'll call this width. And then, we don't need to worry about prompt because it's going to be doing it for us. So we, Now this button here is the key to a lot of pain in English, but otherwise press it and see what fun you get. And immediately it comes up and it says block placeholder, distance 1, oh, decimal, precision's looking good. But we want to multiply it by a conversion factor of 0 0.5. 001. So in other words, we're going to convert our millimetres into metres. So, and the suffix, well, we're going to put W for window. So in other words, at the end of the number, you're going to get a W. I've always thought that W stood for window, but apparently, or width, but apparently it stands for window. So there you are. It's, um, you can work with things for you for a couple of years and somebody points it out and says, no, that stands for window, not width. Anyway, so you go, OK. And you now, what's happened here is you popped in a little field 
and it's putting in updated distance and we're just happy with that and pop it in there hey that's a bit small isn't it we're doing these things at 1 to 100 so you might like to choose your height as being say 150 so there you are so that's supposedly going to be linking into this guy here so let's just test this out test our block out oh 2.4 what if we key in or select say 0.7 oh that's changed but this one here hasn't let's do REA RE RE is enough so that's changed to the value we chosen there pretty good isn't it really okay we're 10 minutes in I'm gonna run out of time okay um, so that's not exactly staying nicely in a nice position so we'll close that test block that width should have been in about here somewhere I could put in another definition here a t t death oops d e f put another one in here we'll call this height now this one won't actually um, uh, do anything we'll prompt it as h e i g h t the idea is the user has to make that 150 user has to key in something there so there's the height like that and we'll make that right justified oops oops hang on right right justified so it's over here oops, come here move in for move Move them along there so he's pretty much in the middle now you could put a piece of text in there and as long as it's round about here it's fine so we'll test our block and if I double click on that you get a value that you can there or height there so we could put 1.14 so in other words it'll can come in as showing up on there that's that's a user input type of thing whereas this one here uh, it's automatic so if you do a regen now we're back to there okay so close the test block now the other thing is visibility and I've got about three minutes to do visibility parameters visibility um, here we go that one there so we haven't actually got any visibility states so we can just create a few we'll rename that one to be um, frosted no, no no plain and we'll put a new one we'll call this frosted okay so that then is showing up okay like that so we'll just put our little circle in to present represent frosted so that one there so there it is frosted and there, there's plain now see when you chick, click the plane up the top that comes that goes you know away so that's actually working right but if we wanted to put that into being on plane we just press this little button up here and it, it goes springs into life and it's all good and I've run out of time I was going to do the flip command but that that's pretty much the basics and how to get the look up to look at the distance and come into an attribute is all there so I think I'll close with that thank you